am Hilda here, Hilda from Hilda Crafty. So today I have to show you how to make hair for these dolls. So for this, take some twine. Now I have taken say 20-30 strings together and uh, just keep it together. Then take one twine and from the center just tie it and add it to the rest. I've shown you how to make this doll. So now we will, now supposing we want the doll to have hair till here, say below the shoulder. So what we'll do is, we'll, this, is this becomes the parting. So we will take it like this and we will trim. We will keep the length as much as we want and we'll cut the rest. Now, where we join, this becomes the parting area so either we can keep it in the center or if we can keep it on the side as a side parting or on this side whichever side you want now we'll take some glue now this the spoon that i've taken is at the back side i've made the face this is the side from where we take the food uh, put the food take the food in so i've taken the back side so i'll put the glue here around the corner of the spoon and I'll I supposing I want a center parting so I'll place it here and since the doll doesn't have ears so we will try and cover this area so it doesn't look that she doesn't have ears and we will put it together now we'll take some glue at the back and put little twine at the back too So this is how she will have her hair and just to make it interesting we can make a bow and we can just put a dollop of glue here or anywhere you want whichever side and we can just put it here. So this is how she will look. Now to make the bow I have made it from the same uh, dress paper. We can just take a make a small a deep V and an upturned V and we can join both the sides, cut it and that becomes the bow. So this is with loose hair. Now if we want a doll to have a plait like this, so what we'll do is we'll again take a lot of uh, twine together as I took earlier. Again we will tie it from the center, that becomes the parting and now from this side we will start making a plait. So I've already made some. So like this we will make a plait. We will see that both of the sides are equal. So I'll make a little more. Now that it's together, we'll take the twine and we will tie it from here. We can make a bit, little bow. Now if you have a, a twine which is of blue color matching the dress, you can do that. I didn't have it. So I'm using the same twine. So we'll make a bow. Okay, we can make a bow later. And now from the same side, now we will give as long as we want her hair to be so we can cut the rest so now to put it uh, to fix it now again we'll take the glue from the side of the spoon again the back side of the spoon and we will this becomes the parting the center so we will place that in the center and again from both the side we will fix it it's a nice glue that's how you fix it. So now she has long hair. This one had little short hair. So this one has long hair. They're twins. And um, now for a ponytail, what we'll do? Again, we'll take some twine. Now we'll fold it. Again, we will fold it. We'll take the glue. We will put it here. We'll put the twine here 
on the top and we will put some uh, glue at the back nice glue we need we'll put this at the back again we'll take some glue put it at the back we will need some clothespin to fix it till it dries and again we'll take some twine again we'll fold it again we'll fold it and from here we will tie it one corner which will go inside behind the spoon here so like this we will tie it so i've already done one i've tied it and rest is up here so do this after this is nicely fixed but i'm doing it right away so again i'll take lots of glue till from where i've tied i will put this at the back so that I have the ponytail coming up like this. Again, we'll put the clip for some time. And to turn it, we will just put a little glue and we will turn and we can fix it with a clothespin. So after some time, we should have the doll with a little ponytail going on one side. Now, what we can do is like here we've put a bow. Now for this doll with the ponytail since if the if this doesn't come out very neat you can put a small flower here so to cover it up so i'll put a little glue i had a blue flower so it's matching with the dress you can put any color that you want you can even put a button anything whatever you have or maybe a small piece of this paper you can put anything so like this we can have three hairstyles one is with a ponytail one is with a uh, two plaits and one is loose hair and uh, for for the face i've made a very interesting face here i'll show you how i made it what we'll do is we'll make a u another u here and then a deep u the u and then little black here little black here and i've made some eyelash and just because her dress was blue i've made the inside of the uh, uh, eye a little blue just to make it a little interesting and i've given her lips red i've made a curve here and the nose, I've made a little, little upturned nose, just a nose here, just to show that she's a little naughty. And then I've given her little freckles. And that's how she looks. I have a, and then you can make the cheeks a little pink, because dolls look very cute with pink cheeks. And the legs and shoes I had shown you earlier and in this I have made the shoe little just to make it interesting I've given her blue shoes and I've put little dots here just to show that she's wearing canvas shoes so this is how we can make it so uh, I hope you liked my video do share like and comment and uh, do tune in again I'll come up again with a very nice interesting video till then bye bye and I love you all